As CDC field officers, you are embarking... I would describe Julia as a very accomplished, intelligent, interesting woman. She's worked very hard uh, to be at the top of her field as a CDC virologist. Mm -hmm. And in this show, what's great about the character is that she exists for reasons outside of her relationship. So she's not just there to be the ex-wife. She has yeah. her own purpose. And what's great about her skill set, something that I've grown to admire about the character, is that she's incredibly brave. When it comes to her own issues, that's where she has these really interesting flaws. She's not very good with relationships, <laughs> clearly. You know, sleeping with her husband's brother wasn't a great idea. But, um, <laughs> but uh, I kind of enjoy her flaws because that's what makes her, you know, it, it gives her some humanity and it helps you empathize with the character. people to do things for him. Um, he's, he's, he's a good manipulator. Um, he can get people on his side. Um, you'll see throughout the season he interacts with quite a few characters and, and changes their feelings towards him for his benefit. And then he uses it against them. Um, yeah, you know, you know when you leave town and you forget to take the garbage out and you come home from a week away and then all of a sudden you open your house and then it's that, that lovely odor. I can imagine decomposing bodies being a hundred times worse and I would probably vomit inside a hazmat suit as well. If I just smell bad fish, I'm just not, I can get the gag reflex going, but <laughs> uh, luckily what was good for us in that situation is that we have the biohazard suits on. so. Mm -hmm. And if we were real CDC doctors, I think we would at least be protected from the smell, but the look of that dead body is absolutely atrocious. So I can't imagine that smelling good at all. It'd probably be pretty bad. Yeah, no, I don't think that would be fun at all. I think, um, especially the Narvik virus from our show, it's very, it, you remain conscious uh, at, to a certain extent while you're infected and as you grow through the stages you could ask uh, Neil Napier who plays Peter in the show who went through the different stages of it um, I think he was aware of what was going on and I think it would be your own personal hell before you died it would be a prison to be trapped in that kind of a body doing those sort of things that are that aren't within your control um, yeah I don't I, I wouldn't put that one on my list of ways to go no I think that real life epidemics and viruses are actually a real life fear for everyone and I think that's why sh these kinds of shows get created. Um, it does concern me, but I don't live my life in fear of it. We've had scares, I mean I know there was swine flu in Mexico that was, that was, you know, you're in the middle of it here, but for me where I was in Canada I didn't really deal firsthand with any of these uh, epidemics that happened, H1N1, SARS, anything like that personally didn't affect me. so I didn't. I haven't become more paranoid, thankfully, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's sort of out of my control. Helix estreno domingo 10 de agosto a las 22 horas por AXN.